it's it's there's an overall larger attempt to break down everything socially constructed by Western European Christian whites. It is very much in line with the whole anti anti-white, anti-European, anti-American, anti-traditional type of mentality. Hey, Eagle Eye, let me clue you in about something. I am a neophile and I am an anti-traditionalist. I've said this in other videos, but they must have been so old that you never saw them. If a tradition causes problems, if it causes harm, I'm going to speak against it. I'm going to do everything I can to show what's wrong with it and call for its elimination, if possible. That's where I'm at. Now, if a tradition doesn't cause harm, I'm certainly not going to speak against it. You, on the other hand, seem like a neophobe. You are against new ideas, or at least you're against new ideas taking over old ideas. You are a traditionalist. And, sorry, but traditionalists are not very far away from religious fundamentalists. People keep on pushing and pushing and pushing. They're shoving that Overton window. Google it. Overton window. They're shoving the Overton window over so that what used to be outside of that realm of acceptability is now just barely inside the edge. Now we have to accept this, and then now then we have to make it mainstream, and then we keep on going. So what used to be on the outside of that window keeps on getting pushed in. They keep on shoving that window. That's how we progress forward. That's how that works. Yes, we are always going to find some new way to approach things that shows that the old ways that we've been doing something is has some messed up things about it causes harm you know that's why slavery was abolished that's why women got the right to vote that's why uh, interracial marriage was allowed eventually that's why gay marriage was allowed that's why we have anti-discrimination policies that's why all this stuff happens Okay, we've got neophiles and neophobes. You fit into the neophobe category. You fit into the traditionalist category. You know, there's the people who are, you know, they know exactly what that agenda is and they're going for that agenda. And then there's the people who are the useful idiots that are doing the, the legwork and the grunt work. Uh, and, you know, of those people, they don't know the agenda, they're just the useful idiots that are buying into the rhetoric, and those useful idiots are the very same people who just called me a bigot. It's not just what you call the useful idiots, it's also the people who know what the agenda is. There is no actual agenda. There's no one set of things. This is just people who see things that are wrong with the way that we've been doing things and trying to come up with new ways of approaching things that might cause less harm. That's what this is all about. I mean, it, what you're saying is really no different than, oh, there's the gay agenda. No, there's no gay agenda. You know, you're, you're being very conspiratorial. This is simply about trying to get rid of or demonize traditions that cause harm and replace them with something worthwhile. Now, if you don't like the answers, you don't like the things that people are considering worthwhile, then maybe you could actually help by coming up with things that would work. But when traditions cause harm, it's time to drop them. One more thing. Some of the stuff you're saying in your video, near the latter part of it, kind of reminds me of the stuff you hear from Bob's mantra. You know Bob Whitaker's mantra? The stuff that the white nationalists say a lot? The whole, you know, anti-racism is a code word for anti-white, and, oh, what is it, Africa for Africans, it starts off like that. Yeah, go look up Bob Whitaker's mantra. 
It also sounds very closely similar to Dominionists and Reconstructionists. Um, you may not be trying to cram a God belief down people's throats, but you are you are supporting the dogma and the traditions that come from those beliefs. You are supporting the things that are harmful about those beliefs. Yeah, you're not, you don't believe in the God part of it, but you believe in all the concepts that come from those beliefs, and you somehow think it's positive. Even though you don't have anything to back up this idea that it's positive, you just, you just want to be a traditionalist because you are a neophobe. I am a neophile, and I'm proud to be a neophile. I'm not a mindless neophile. I try to think about whether these ideas, these new ideas, could cause harm. Now, some of these mindless drones don't give a shit whether or not these new ideas cause harm. That's what you're finding within the social justice warrior crap. That's what you're finding from st people like Steve Shives. That's what you're finding from people like Dakota Hendricks. They don't care whether or not their new ideas cause harm. Okay, we, we need to scrutinize old ideas and new ideas. But I am always going to tilt more towards new ideas. Let's just be skeptical of the new ideas. We need to move forward, not backward.